Good morning, children. Today we will be discussing another new chapter in English grammar that is adjectives. Now, adjective is a word, are those words which describe or tell more about the noun or a pronoun. For example, the cat is hungry. For example, she is beautiful. For example, the door is red in color. So, when we describe or tell more about a particular person, place, animals, things and about in pronouns, those are said to be adjectives or describing words. They are called also describing words. But today we will be doing exercise in this chapter. So the first exercise A is a fill in the blanks and the words have been given. Okay. There is a box and in that box the words have been given. You have to choose the correct word from the box and put it down in the blank. So the first word is a dash cat drive over the mill. So option is uh, over there. It's the fresh, hungry, new, hot and uh, strong. So here will be the hungry cat drive over the mill. Similarly, there are other questions also which you need to complete. And it's very easy also. Now, coming to exercise B. The exercise B tells us that we have to rewrite the sentences using adjectives. Now, the adjectives given in the bracket, you have to use it in a sentence. Like, this is a lovely dog. So, uh, you have to use the adjective which is given in the bracket in the sentence like this. Okay? I hope it is easy for you and you can able to do the same. Now, this way you will do the rest of the question in the exercise B. Now, coming to exercise C. Now, exercise C is that it tells us that fill in the blanks with correct form in the bracket. Now, the sentence is there. In the sentence, you have a blank and along with the sentence, you have two options. Okay, you have to choose any one option. For example, there is a dash C. There is a big C. So, correct option is B. So we write over here the big city. Okay. Then we have a next set of questions like that. If this is there, you have to do the rest of the question in that particular way. Now, coming to exercise C. In exercise C tells us just you have a look. So the blanks we're choosing suitable adjective from those given in the bracket. Now here we have the bracket that what we have done just now, and you have to choose and write it down. Now. This way you do the rest of the question exercise C. Now coming to exercise D. Now exercise D tells us that rewrite the sentences in the opposite way. As uh, it is written, you have to join in exercise B, you have to join the adjective in a sentence. Now you have to use an opposite to the adjective. For example, it is given the table is dirty. Okay, the table is dirty. What is the opposite of dirty? Clean. So the table is clean. So you write table is a clean. Okay. Similarly, new will be old, rich will be poor, long will be short, empty will be full. This way you do the exercises with full complete sentence. Okay. This is how you have to do this exercise in a way. Now, this is all over the question that you will do in exercise B. Coming to exercise E. Here the words are been given in the bracket. You have to choose the correct word and write in front of the sentence that is being given a big huge blank. Okay. See the first one is done for you. Something that costs a lot. Costly. Something, someone who shows a lot of courage. Courageous. Okay. Then someone who is greedful. Person full of greed is called greedy. Like that, choose the rest of the excess. Very, very easy. You can directly write the answer from the option over here. And you can put the option over here too. This way complete the exercise. Now, coming to exercise F. It is very easy. It's not difficult. You just have to write the opposite of what word has been given. And you have to write it down. For example, the first one is not that way. The opposite of light is weight. Right? The opposite of light is weight. So, not clean, dirty. Okay? Not difficult, easy. Large number, many. Okay, very small, tiny, not wet, dry, opposite of full, empty. Like that, you do the entire question in this exercise. Okay, this is all about how you will do in exercise 
F. Now, come down to exercise G. Now, in exercise G, you have to write down the opposites from the block. You know, see, there's a box has been given in that all the opposite words have been given, which you need to fill with side of the words that is being mentioned. See, the first one is done for you. Fierce, gentle. Second one is thick, thin, happy, sad, big, small, old, new, like that. You have to fill the rest of the question in this exercise. Okay. Now, coming to the H questions. Now, H question, you have to describe the word with the colors. Describe the word with the colors. Now, how? Leaf. What is the color of the leaf? Green. What is the color of blood? Red. What is the color of chocolate? Brown. Okay. What is the color of lemon? Yellow. Even sometimes green also. Okay. Milk. White. Ash. Green. Like that you have to mention the colors in this exercise. Now, last, the last but not the least, the last question. Now, over here, the animals are being mentioned and the quality is being mentioned. So, you have to write down which animal it is. The first one is done for you. See, that is a pet animal, faithful and happy. That's the dog. It is fierce, strong, called king of the jungle, thick golden hair on it. It's called the lion. Okay. This big beautiful bird, crown on his head, comes out in the rain. It's peacock. So, this way you'll fill the entire question. For children, the questions in this, exercise in this are very easy, not so difficult. But still, if you have any difficulties in understanding and doing it, just let me know and I'll help you out in that. With this, I can do the Thank you.